so in today's class we'll be talking about uh, constructors so suppose any class is there and you don't want to execute that class directly it may be possible you can execute some class from some other class I will show you shortly so first of all let me delete the main function from this that means we will not be executing the student class directly we will not do that so first of all let me delete this main function so yesterday what we were doing is we were creating the class suppose phone and we were creating the object of phone class inside that class itself but that's not always mandatory you can create one class here and you can create this class objects in some other class you can do that that's what we will be doing today so we have a class that is a student it has few features let's take a few features string that is name and semicolon that means I have declared the variable that every student has a name but what's the name I haven't specified because when you will be creating the object you will be creating five object of student so every student will be having its own name you can specify at that time currently you are simply telling that every student must have a name that's all the next suppose integer and suppose I will give roll number roll number call that's all next suppose I will take string gender semicolon I'm not giving any value and then you can take like section Okay, <coughs> that's all. I have four, uh, you can say, features of the student. Now, when you will be creating the object of this class, then how the value will be assigned to this? For that one, we need constructor. So, first of all, in the comments part, I will write constructor so that you understand what is this. T R U C T O R constructor. Okay, constructor is nothing but a function with the same name as your class name very interesting thing first of all let me type how we create a function that is public uh, void okay void is not required in this one public and your uh, class name that's all that means we have a function in which void is not required and moreover the name of the function is same as your class name now what we will do yesterday I show you that either you can create a function without any parameter or you can pass few parameters as well what I want is I want to pass the parameter from outside and I want to set to this one let me show you you will understand I will pass four parameters from outside I will write here string and a underscore name yes I have a question yeah please go ahead uh, like is it mandatory to have a constructor name same as the class name absolutely because if you will not uh, not keep the name as same that would be treated as a function that would not be constructor then okay okay yeah. so string a underscore name first of all let me type this then I will show you what is that then integer a underscore roll number comma the next is string a underscore gender and last one more string a underscore section okay now what I am doing is from outside I mean where you will be creating the object from there you will be passing four arguments the, in this order you cannot change the order first value should be string second should be integer third should be gender fourth should be section you may be thinking like why I have given this name a underscore name a underscore roll number the reason be, being is you already having one variable with the name with the name this name 
so if you will provide the same it will not take it that's why just to make it different I have a underscore that means it is coming from, you can use anything just to make it different I have used a underscore now I will assign them because currently there is no value of name roll number gender section you have to assign that that means name is equal to a underscore name quite simple that means whatever value you will pass from outside that would be assigned to the internal variable that, that will be your feature of your student so this is one thing similarly the next is roll number let me copy this roll number is equal to a underscore roll number yes after that third one gender gender is equal to a underscore gender and similarly section is equal to a underscore section okay I passed four values from outside and these four values are immediately assigned to the internal variables that means if I will create two object of students from outside I will give different value and different I mean two students with different details will be created I will show you shortly how to do that but as of now you can say that I have four features or you can say four variables and one constructor let's take one uh, one simple function as well because you will create some object after that what you will do you will be doing something so I will create one more uh, function that is public void I will name the function as display display student details yes this is my function name and what I will do I will write something into that that's all so let's write something meaningful I will write system dot out dot print and let me maximize this okay system dot out dot print and inside that I will write the student details are if you want you can display this in a single line itself what I want is I want to write like student details are all those four details separated by some suppose comma so this one after that plus name okay now plus the next detail roll number you can do that but what will happen is immediately after name roll number will be displayed without any space that would uh, display something like meaning meaningless thing so let's put some uh, space in between so double quotes maybe you want to uh, you may be interested to display suppose comma and space okay after that the next thing that is gender now again double quotes comma space next is okay I think I displayed gender before that I should have displayed that roll number okay not an issue we'll do it right away control C name plus comma after that roll number you can display in any order that's not required that you display in the same Let, let's keep it as it is name then gender then we will display roll number then we will again display comma and space and finally we will display section so SEC section okay now if you want to put them in brackets it's completely your wish so what I would like is plus double quotes and in double quotes square bracket and we can start a square bracket as well maybe from here like this okay that's all now you can see this uh, my program that is uh, having the class name student we have four variables for features we have a constructor and we have a simple function that would simply display the detail of your uh, student that's all
now we want to create the object of students either you can create in the same class which we have already done yesterday but I will show you something different today I will create another class inside that class I will be simply creating the object of students so let me minimize this inside the same package that is constructor I will create another class another class and this time I can give some other name maybe constructor jungle in this example we should have a main method and I will click on finish okay so inside this constructor example I don't want any feature or like that because I simply want, want to create the object of student so I can write directly doing main method so student s1 is equal to new student you must remember yesterday we did the same we did like phone p1 is equal to new phone and that's all but today you can see this is displaying that red it is giving the error why it is saying that whatever feature you have declared though does not have any value so at least when you are creating the object at least you should provide the value now so we will do that inside this you will provide those values the student name is suppose samta okay then we have roll number that is integer so you don't need to put in uh, double quotes you can simply provide suppose 101 then you have to provide gender suppose f and finally suppose section any section suppose science okay we have successfully created one <coughs> object of student class s1 and whatever details you have provided those have been assigned to those four features similarly if I will create one more object <coughs> okay first of all I will make it s2 because same variable you cannot take twice s2 okay this time the name I will change suppose Piali roll number is 102 and will change the department okay I have created two object s1 and s2 if you want to display the detail you must have that we have a function display student details something like that we will use that so let me do it for s1 so s1 dot that function name that is display student details semicolon that's all shall I execute this program for you right away constructor example right click here and run as Java application okay you can see that the details are beautifully displayed the student details are Santa comma F comma 101 comma science you may be thinking like why it's coming in different order because you displayed in different order whatever thing you will request from the system it will do that for you while displaying let me show that you have requested to display the name then the gender you can see this gender then roll number and section like this one so this has been displayed successfully one more thing yesterday we had done that but I will show you once again suppose you want to change something suppose you want to change the department of S2 so what you will do s2 dot section is equal to suppose you want to make it arts now you don't want to keep it commerce you can do that so initially you created an object of s2 you provided few details but later on you change the section of s2 okay now I want to display students two details as well okay let me execute this
ओके यू कैन सी दैट स्टूडेंट डिटेल्स आर संता एफ वन जीरो वन एंड साइंस एंड स्टूडेंट डिटेल्स आर प्याली मेल वन जीरो टू आर्ट बिकॉज वी चेंज दैट इनिशियली दैट वॉज कॉमर्स बट वी चेंज दैट टू आर्ट्स दैट्स वाई आर्ट्स इज कमिंग सो फ्रेंड्स दिस वॉज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्ट I think you have learnt a lot of new things. One thing is like we have a constructor with the same name as class name. Second thing is like we can provide the value of parameters from outside. And third thing is it is not mandatory that every class have a main method. Student class does not have main method, and that's not required because we are not executing that class directly. We are creating the object of student class in some other class, and in which you are creating. we do have a main function in that so we are done with the constructor example you can ask me in case you have any doubt otherwise we'll be moving to the next level and we'll be talking about collections uh now i have a question like can we create multiple constructors can we create multiple constructor yes that's possible we can create multiple constructors as well so if you want i can show you right away just give me a moment okay okay currently what we have done is we have provided only uh, for i mean we have provided four value from outside and those value have been assigned you may be interested that from outside only three value should come and one will you one value we will give from inside itself so i will create one more constructor for you i will copy this and i will simply paste this i will suppose name roll number and gender is fine but section you want to keep constant for everyone you don't want to take it from outside so i will hard code this suppose i want to make it as hadu that's that is fixed and the remaining things will be coming from outside so from this uh, parameter list i will be removing the last one okay that's good great now so now you have two two type of constructor one one is having four parameters that means you will pass four parameters from outside and those four parameters will be assigned and another constructor is which is taking only three parameters from outside and fourth will automatically uh, assigned so now i will show you one thing i will create one more so more student in which i will provide only three value from outside okay so control c the name of the student is suppose pavan first of all let me change this variable name as 3 pavan roll number is 103 gender is male and that's all we don't need the last thing this is not required control s say yes what i will do now you know that i will be displaying the student three details as three dot display details and i will execute this right away right click run as java application you can see the last one the student details are pavan mail 103 and hadu we did not specify hadoop from outside but that was hard coded in the definition of constructor so as per the requirement you can have any number of constructor you can pass one one parameter from outside and take three inside you can pass two from outside you can take two inside something like that so you can have any number of uh, constructor so is that clear now okay friends so any other doubt till now uh, excuse me niraj uh yes please go ahead uh fans if we have created package and if you want to come out of that package what do we need to do Uh, I did not get the meaning of come out because 
this is instead of uh, you you can see this i have source directory i have advanced package i have collection package i have constructor package so creating a package is not getting you inside that it's completely your choice i have created a package even after that if suppose i want to create a class inside source so i will right click on source and i will create new class that would be created inside source directory if i want to create inside a package as we discussed uh, day before yesterday packages are nothing but sub directory just for your classification because you may not be interested to put all the programs into the same directory that's why uh, yeah yeah actually what happened is uh, long term back i have created a package okay and uh, whatever the programs i am doing now all those are running in that package only but i want to create a i want to come out of the package i want to give, keep all those things out of that uh, package into a source okay that that's good so you you are asking like how to copy a program from a package outside of that yes okay so what you can do that is quite simple you can uh, suppose i will go to student i will copy from here control c or control x you can do and do you then you can go to source and then paste it let me check if i can pick some program from here i am taking this two dimensional array example just just for your reference i am taking this and simply drag and drop hold on your mouse and simply move to okay. the, your source okay i think it's not working just give me a moment yes it's coming now i will move it to source that's what you want to do yes uh no it has not gone okay i mean what i was trying to do is i was moving from source to source let me pick some other program suppose a student or from advanced phone i will pick phone from here and i will move it to source like this but one thing you have to do you have moved the program from uh, advanced package to source that's fine but let me op phone open that phone phone class yes you can see the first line package advanced it is still taking that entry and that is coming in red this time why it is saying that you are saying that the package should be advanced but i am not in advanced package i am in different package either remove this or move it back to your advanced package so it's completely your choice now i think you know how to move it if you want to keep it in source you can simply delete the first line this package line let me show that do that for you control home and con i will simply delete that now there is no error you can use that similarly now suppose if you are take moving this phone class from source directory to suppose advanced you can do that but again the same error will be there now it will be asking that it is inside the uh, package you can see this small cross mark of red if you will click on that it will tell you you can see that the declared package does not match this expected package advance it is saying that you have put the program inside advanced package but you have not declared that so we will do that so you can move the classes from any package to any package but make sure that you make this uh, package line change the first line change otherwise your program will not run okay is it clear sandeep thank you yeah thank you neil okay welcome okay so so we'll be moving to the next level now that is uh, collection yesterday we talked about one collection that was array array is a collection of multiple variables instead of taking 10 variable i can simply take one array and i can provide all those 10 value in the bracket i can do that but the question is suppose in the beginning i don't know how many values are there neither i know the value then what should i do in that scenario in which you are not aware about the values and not aware about the number of values then you should go with collection instead of array moreover array is a basic thing and collection is advanced thing that means we have some more interesting thing in collections so we'll start with the simple example of array list so i have created a separate package collection so that your programs are properly organized 
in collection i will create the my first program i mean first collection that is uh, array list so we'll create the program then you will understand what i am talking about so array list example array list example okay and we'll main function and click on finish okay okay so just like yeah, we are declaring different variables different objects like we created a object of student similarly we can create the object of array list class so first of all you will type array list then you can give any name maybe my list equal to new array list the kit closed comma okay currently it is giving the error you can see that it is giving the error at array list what it is saying if you will simply take your mouse to that cross mark it will tell you array list cannot be resolved to a type that means your program is saying that I don't recognize error list. What is this all about? In that scenario, you might have to import that. So, <clears throat> in order to import, you will type import java dot util dot array list. Okay, so in the beginning I have imported that. You may be thinking like what do we mean by import? Basically when you are writing any Java program, the basic things like string or integer, boolean, yesterday we were talking about basic data type. Those are already available. But in case you need some advanced thing like this array list, you need to import them. Import means you are simply requesting your Eclipse that I need that thing. That's all. And it will give it to you. Currently you can see that there is no red mark, there is no error. Now it is recognizing perfectly what error list is all about. Okay, now what next? We have created an object of error list. Now in error list you may be thinking like we have not provided any value. Yesterday we created an array and we assigned few values, four values like. But today we haven't done that. Okay, that's not an issue. You can do it right, that right away you will do your list name that is my list your variable name dot add we have add function semicolon and inside this you can give anything suppose I would give the name power I have added one value in my list so as I told you the size is not fixed it's completely uh, you can say flexible you will keep on adding the things and the size will keep on increasing I will add one more one more and one more okay I will make it really and next Shisha and next Santa okay yesterday we created one uh, string array and inside that I provided four values because at that time I knew that I have four values and I declared that. But in array list, I simply created an object of array list in the beginning and later on I can add on the things on that. Similarly, if you want to delete, that's also possible. I will show you how to do that. First of all, I would like to display the content of this array list. So what you can do, system.out.println and you can simply type my list that's all because I have not put in double quotes that means the value of my list will be displayed and my list contain four names so let me execute this for you okay I think we have taken the wrong name I mean name array instead of array it is a double y a y we will change this By pressing F2 you can change the name array example.java and as I told you the name should be same the class name and file name so it is we have to make it here as well 
array okay now we'll execute this so right click on array list example and run as java application you can see that these brackets are automatically coming from java we did not use that neither we uh, provided this comma we simply requested the java that please display my list and it has displayed displayed that comma separated list and closed in brackets pavan comma pyali comma sirisha comma santa that's good now suppose i want to delete from this array list i can do that let me show you right away so my list dot remove you have to provide the index yesterday we talk about indexes java starts counting from 0 if i will provide 0 the pawn will be deleted if i will provide 1 pyali will be deleted similarly 2 3 are like that so let me suppose provide 2 here okay and semicolon that means my list contained four names initially i displayed them then i deleted one name from second index that is the third one actually and then I will display my list once more you will see the difference automatically control C control ok I will execute this program again you can see that from the second uh, line Pawan, Piali and Samta is there. Srisha is not there in that list because that has been explicitly removed from the list. So, array list is advanced version of array. We can do a lot of stuff. One more thing I will show you. I will show you how using for loop we can display these names. Currently these are displayed but it is its own format. Suppose I want to display them in three names in three different lines. Suppose, then how would I do that? So, I will create a for loop. So, for int suppose i is equal to 0 and i less than equal to what? We use for loop when, when we are quite sure how many times that will, that will run. Are we sure now? Yes, we are sure. We have a op function that will give you the size of your list and that's what we want. If my list contains 5 names, my for loop should run 5 times. If my list contains 50 names, that simply means my for loop should run 50 times. So instead of giving the number, when we were talking about for example, we were giving the number like i less than equal to 10 or 50 like that. But this time I don't have that number ready but I can give some uh, expression over that. So expression is my list dot size. Yes, that's also valid. Semicolon i plus plus and now starting and closing brackets. Okay. I have a for loop int i is equal to 0. You may be thinking like previously we started i is equal to 1. Why we are starting with 0? Because Counting starts from 0 in Java. Basically, I want to access the array list object. That's why I am starting from 0. If I want to display some counting like 1, 2, 3, you can start from anything. You can even start from 5. That's also possible. So, i is equal to 0. i less than my list dot size. It will go till that. And i plus plus. Inside that, what I will type is system.out.println I will type the student name is I will do my list dot get we have another method we have different methods we have add method we have remove method we have get method we have uh, size method every method has is its uh, own purpose so my list dot get and which index that is i that means when i would be 0, it will be displaying first name. Then for loop will run again. i will be 1. Then it will display the next name that is Piali. Then for loop will run once again. And it will display the third name that is Shanta. 
because Srisha has been removed because we are using this for loop after removing so the three name will be displayed in this particular manner which we have specified so I will save this I will minimize this and I will execute this Java application okay we can see that first list that is the default we have default uh, format of displaying Pawan, Piali, Sirisa and Samta after that we removed one name from the list and it displayed Pawan, Piali and Samta and after that that was our own format we want to display like this so we used for loop the student name is Pawan, student name is Piali, student name is Samta so using for loop and using that particular thing my list dot size that's very important so that we have done so this is an example of array list so we are stopping here for two minutes in case you are having any doubt you can ask me No questions needed. Okay. Okay, friends, let's move to the next uh, type of collection. That was an array list. That was a direct, you can say, uh, a list of different names, different integer, different other type of data it can also be there. This time, I will show you what a map is. So, first of all, let me create a class with the name map example. map example and this one and finish okay so just like we created an array list object and we added a few values in that similarly now we will be creating an object of map and then we'll be putting some value in that so hash map <coughs> maybe my map is equal to new hash map semicolon again the same issue your your program is not recognizing what hash map is so we will import that so you can either write that thing manually like import java dot util dot hash map or i let me let me tell you a shortcut you will press control shift o that would be automatically imported you can see that it's quite fast you can note it down that is control shift O it will import the required things immediately okay now I have an object of map first of all you may be thinking like what map is and how it's different from array list map is a collection of mappings of two things suppose I have a state name and its capital I have another state name and its capital so that state name and capital that is one thing that is one key value pair and a map is nothing but a collection of multiple key value pairs so in array list what we did we did add and we simply added the value but in map we don't have add function we have put function there is no logic behind that like why map has a put and why array list has add function they have created this and we have to follow that so I would use my map dot put my map dot put now you have to provide two things one is key another one is value maybe I would provide this you can say state name suppose AP and I will provide in the value as capital suppose Hyderabad that is one entry added to my map similarly if you want you can put more entries I will put state name as Maharashtra and capital is Mumbai Similarly, if you want, I can put one more.
Karnataka and Bangalore. Okay. I created one map and I put three key value pairs in that. We have key we have values. Now what we want to do? You want to display it directly, you can do that. That is system.out.println and you will simply type my map. Okay, Java is case sensitive. That means why while I declare the variable my map, I kept this M as capital. That means whenever you want to use this. We have to use this as capital only. Otherwise, it will show in red mark. And if there is a single red mark in your program, your program will not be executed. You have to make sure that your program does not have any red mark. Anyway, we want to display that and we will do it right away. I will right click on this and run as Java application. You can see that. Maharashtra is equal to Mumbai, Karnataka is equal to Bangalore, AP is equal to Hyderabad. It is its own format to display. Again, if you want to display as per your format, what you can do is, let me show you, you will type system.out.println and you can type like the capital of AP is now we will get this capital from the map. So my map dot get. So in the map what you will do, you will not provide index. You will provide the key and it will return you the value. So you will provide AP and what is its capital? It will give that to you. So it will display the capital of AP is Hyderabad. Let me show you. I will be right click on this and run as Java application. You can see that the capital of AP is Hyderabad. So just like you added the uh, objects in this, if you want you can delete them as well. Let me show you. You can do my map dot remove. You will simply provide the key value will also will automatically delete it. Suppose I will delete AP. like this. So now <coughs> after that I will display my map once again. <coughs> okay. And I will right click on map example. You can see that. First line Maharashtra is equal to Mumbai, Karnataka is equal to Bangalore, AP is equal to Hyderabad. And second line, Maharashtra is equal to Mumbai and Karnataka is equal to Bangalore. That AP and Hyderabad details, those have been deleted from your map. Okay, and after that, the next line, system.out.println, the capital of AP is my map.getAP. I am trying to get the capital from AP from the map, but that has been deleted now. That's not there. That's why the last line you can see, the capital of AP is null. Null means nothing. We did not get any detail for this. If you want to change this, then definitely you will find the value. If I will make it Maharashtra, definitely you will find the value. Yes. I will execute this once again. Run as Java application. You can see that. The last line. The capital of not AP. I mean you have written an AP here, so it will follow you. You have to write master here. Run as Java application and the last line is the capital of Maharashtra is Mumbai. Okay, <coughs> so that is another example of collection that was map. If you are having any doubt in this one, you can ask me. Otherwise, I will show you one more type of collection that is known as set. Okay, so let's create an example of set. So set example.
and finish okay so we were talking about set example where is that set example in collection yes yes you must have uh, heard about set in mathematics that is like a collection of unique objects that means you cannot have duplicate in that so let me do that for you I will create and set so has set is my set is equal to new has set yes inside this I will add the add anything maybe my set dot add <coughs> This time I am giving numbers. You can give uh, any string also, but right now I am giving some number. Suppose 1 and semicolon. That means into your set 1 has been added. Similarly, I add a few more things. I will add 2. I will add 2 once more. I will add 3 and I will add 4. I have added four or uh, 5 things. One. 2, 2, 3, 4. If you will add these 5 numbers to array list, it will display them like 1, 2, 2, 3, 4 because it will not delete the duplicate because that is array list. But this is set. It is explicitly displaying only unique values. That means you have put 2 twice or thrice that does not matter. It will be displaying it only once. I will display this right away and you will understand this. <coughs> I will display my set and it will display 1, 2, 3, 4. That's all. It will not display 2 twice. It will not do that. Run as Java application. You can see that. 1, 2, 3, 4. Whatever times you will add but it will not display it many times. That is the purpose of set. So it depends upon, all depends upon requirement. Sometimes you may have, uh, you can say like uh, the requirement is so sometimes we have requirement, uh, let me take some example. Uh, suppose we have a list or I would rather say set. We have a set in which we have declared a different uh, uh, technology which the student knows. Now suppose you know Java technology and in your list you are typing Java three times. Is that meaningful? No. You know Java, that's all. Whether you write it once or thrice, that does not matter. And that's, that's why when you need that, we don't want duplicate values we want only unique values you can use set the person who is adding it three times or ten times that will not affect that it will be displaying it only once so it all depends upon the requirement whether array will help you or two dimensional array will help you or array list will help you or uh, map will help you or uh, set will help you all these things are there one more thing which I can show you is suppose you want to sort the content of array I will go to array list example I will go to this. We have some names, Pawan, Piali, Sirisha and Sampa and we want to sort them. Okay, so what you will do is, we have a way to sort them, that is collections, C capital, C O L L L E C T I O N S, collections, dot, sort. And inside that, you will give whatever things you want to sort. I want to sort my list. I will take it, I will paste this, that's all. And after doing this, I will display my table once again. <coughs> okay, let me add one more name, so that we can really lick some so uh, see some sorting. So, I will add some name, starting with A. Suppose, Abhishek. Okay, if it will sort, then Abhishek should be coming as first. So I will execute my program now. Collection list example. Run as Java application. That's good. You can see the last one. Abhishek, Pawan, Piali, and Samta. 
these names have been successfully sorted so using collection dot sort you can sort any type of collection that can be array list that can be map that can be set so i am leaving the sorting of map and set to you you can try it out at your end so friends that's all for today's class